Hello everyone, welcome to Airbus uh, What's It uh, Doing Now and uh, to this edition of Safety Corner which is the heads up on the overspeed protection and uh, recovery. Um, warm welcome to the new subscribers. Uh, the channel's receiving about 10 or 15 new subscribers every week, which is great to see. Uh, you'll find lots here, um, as well as in this safety corner, lots of technical uh, related um, briefings. Also some procedures. Um, tear and share is also another playlist that you'll find where we look through some what if uh, scenarios. So lots of stuff here. So very warm welcome to you. And a huge thank you for those that have supported the channel so far via the uh, Patreon link or buy me a coffee. If you are able to and want to, you can do that. I will put the links uh, in the description for the video. So what's this all about then? Um, this is all to do with, uh, it's a heads up video, as I say. So this is all, the, this safety corner um, briefing is all about the high speed protection uh, high speed prevention and the high speed uh, recovery and to uh, review some of the procedures but also with the support of some airbus uh, documentation uh, as well so what i plan to do here is review when the high speed protection is active what it looks like and what we see on the pfd what does it do is it active and when does it actually activate because i think there's some confusion there um what about the autopilot does it disconnect does it stay in and uh, what we'll also do is review the fctm as far as prevention and recovery and there's a few links in there that will that will uh, that will tie in um what we'll do also is for by way of support is review some of the documentation uh, from airbus in the safety magazine and there are three articles in there so you can read these yourself i'll give you the title so if you want to take a look at them before uh, i actually release the briefing just to sort of give yourself a bit of a heads up i guess that's why we're doing these um so that you can add some context to it yourself before we discuss it together or you can just wait until i release uh, the briefing which will hopefully be uh, in a few days but i'm a, a real fan of these uh, safety magazine uh, articles they carry lots of information and um, are, are very relevant to our daily uh, operation and some good uh, tips uh, in there as well which remind us of some of the techniques and the techniques manual but also we can benefit from other people's experiences and, uh, and stories so the first one we'll take a look at is controlling your speed in the cruise they look here at the high and low speed, but I'm going to focus on this because it's a high speed protection on the VMO MMO. We take a look at the VMO MMO definition. Uh, we'll look at the crossover altitude of when we go from VMO to MMO. Um, how it's actually determined. I think some very interesting stuff there. And we look at some new definitions, which we're not used to seeing, which is MD and VD, and how that's calculated. And it's quite surprising, actually, of just how far away into the overspeed, actually, that these um, sort of critical speeds uh, actually uh, come into effect. But it should it will give you some confidence, I think, in the design limits. Um, and when we exceed VMO, MMO, uh, it's not going to destroy the aircraft. By design, uh, in the aircraft design, uh, there has to be a safety margin between when we exceed our VMO, MMO to where the actual design limits exist. And uh, I'll, I'll, I won't say too much here, but because I'll, I'll explain it a bit more when we do the briefing, but um, there's a nice comfortable limit here. So it's it's hopefully give you some confidence that there's, there's not to be too alarmed um, by a, a, a speed excursion. Um, the next one we'll look at is management of overspeed events in the cruise. So we'll take a look at some uh, flight data analysis uh, that's been reported to Airbus, a uh, review of the aircraft capabilities. And here we have a look at the overspeed prevention um, and the overspeed recovery techniques. And remember, these have been taken out of the QRH and are now in the FCTM as a technique. So what I'll do there is I'll link in the FCTM here just to sort of help um, sort of cement that knowledge uh, and understanding of, uh, of the techniques. And then lastly, uh, we'll take a look at a overspeed event 
uh, with a crew takeover and the OEB 49 application. Now this would concern an A330, so for them it was OEB 49. If I remember rightly, it was OEB 48 uh, for the A320 fleet, and that concerned an abnormal behavior of the Alpha protection. Um, I'll see if I can bring in a link in there, which I think Airbus uh, released. I'm not going to go into huge detail on the OEB 49 or 48 because it doesn't... Um, it's it's been rectified on the 320 fleet through AOA um, retrofit and ELAC 97 upgrade, I believe it was. Um, but I'm going to I'm going to focus much more on the overspeed uh, itself because I think that's that's where I really want the uh, want the focus. Um, what will also so, so the purpose of that is to look at the um, the fact that had the autopilot and the correct technique been applied, then the aircraft would have maintained uh, its trajectory. So we'll take a look at that in a bit of detail. And it could, there's some really important takeaways in that. And then lastly, uh, we'll look at some operational recommendations and take a look at some clues uh, to look out for that may help us identify environmental conditions that may lead to speed variations, jet streams, areas of turbulence, pilot reports, etc., thunderstorms um, that may lead to high speed events. Because as always, prevention is always better than cure, isn't it? Or let's have a look. Let, let's say prevention of the prevention is uh, is better than the cure um so i'm, I'm at the moment putting all that to, together amongst other things but this will be the next one that uh, comes out um hoping to have that uh, out in the uh, next few days so like i say if you're able to support the channel the links are going to be in the description thanks very much uh, for listening keep the plates spinning and uh, i'll look forward to talking to you again very soon